My coping method is using music to heal my emotions. My coping method is running. Glenn. I'm 52 years old and I am a regional manager for a construction company in Kelowna, BC. I had a good friend that uh, was running an ultra run in, in South Africa that's known as the Comrades. It's a very well-known ultra run and uh, he was training for it. He'd done it a few times before but he was looking for some training partners and some people to run with him and uh, he coaxed me into it. I was interested um, and I'd never run before but uh, started running with him and uh, three years later we ran Comrades in 1996. It was an 87 kilometer run and ultimately really hurt my knees. Um, the, uh, there was a lot of downhills on that particular run and downhills are notoriously hard on knees and my knees just gave in at about halfway. Um, just really really hurt my knees and I persisted and carried on through to the end because I was determined to finish it um, but in the end days and weeks months after that I struggled I couldn't walk and I really couldn't run and so for I would say six months after that I couldn't run and just gradually lost my fitness and uh, you lose your fitness it's so much harder to get back into running and we had a young family and life was busy and uh, I just got out of the routine of training and stopped running. Well, we moved to Canada and uh, you know um, life had it had been a good 10-15 years since I'd run seriously and uh, I went to the doctor and the doctor said my cholesterol was too high and so Jackie and I decided to change the way we were living um, which included the way we were eating and the diet that we were that we were consuming each day but also exercise and I started exercising we had just recently moved to BC um, I had the opportunity of treadmills to use and I started running jogging on a treadmill and then slowly but surely my fitness built and I started losing some weight and uh, it, it just was a positive feedback on itself I think you know you're losing weight you're getting fit you're feeling good about yourself and uh, really started feeling the benefits of it physically and mentally and just couldn't uh, didn't want to stop and so I didn't and it's been 10 years now when we moved to BC I took on a more stressful role at work I was the operations manager of the company and there were stressful moments and so initially it was a, a way of coping with my work stress um, the hour or so in the morning with uh, my thoughts while I was running was, was super helpful to recharge and to think things through and to get through um, the things that were troubling me in my mind, I would often start a run with a, a, uh, a conflict or a, a troubling situation on my mind and often by the time I'd finished my run, well, uh, I had a solution in mind and, and I'd come to a plan of how I was going to deal with it and it, it just, just helped so much. Also, I think just getting away from everything for a little while, you know, you don't, you don't have your phone buzzing, you don't have your email in the background you it's just you in the road and and it's just you just alone with your thoughts and you get time to think and just time to process everything that's going on and I find it super helpful I know that when I'm not running and haven't run for a while I'm a little bit more um, on edge and a little less patient with people when I've had a good run and after my when my running is uh, consistent and, and daily I'm a way more rounded person. I'm, I'm more patient, I'm calmer, I've got uh, um, 
clarity of mind and, and some presence of mind and I, I just do so much better. And, and so I think therefore I carry that through into my relationships, both at home and at work. Um, I think I'm, I'm a better person, I'm a better husband, I'm a better father and I'm a better manager when I'm running. It just uh, rounds me off a little better. The last three years have been traumatic in some ways. We've had some traumatic experiences in our family and of course COVID. Um, everybody's lives have been disrupted and changed significantly by COVID. And um, in that period, going through some traumatic family um, events and experiences during that period as well, just increased and intensified the mental strain and stress in our lives. And in my life in particular, I had a very stressful situation with my mom. And um, just, I was in extreme um, levels of mental anguish and trauma, not sleeping well, um, constantly struggling with these thoughts and these issues that um, I was trying to work through, uh, situations that just couldn't be changed, but just had to be endured. And I found that my running really um, took a place of, of uh, helping me deal with that mentally. Like the mental strain was just significant. And um, each and every run that I had gave me the time to, to pray and to think and to meditate and to just work through these issues that I was going through uh, in my personal life and in my family life. Um, and it just gave me a strength and a fortitude and an opportunity, I think, more than anything, just to spend time with my, uh, my thoughts, my, my emotions, and to process them. I, I think particularly the opportunity just to process what I was feeling and thinking. You know, like I said a little earlier, you get away from everything else. You, you've, you've, you're just alone with your thoughts. And, um, and so you, I always find when, when things are binging and, and there's distractions around you, you never quite finish a thought. But when you're out running or out on your own, and in my case running, um, you get that opportunity just to think it through and finish the thought and to, to run the, let the thought run to its, its conclusion and, and um, help you come to a point where you've made a decision or you come to a conclusion or you come to a, a point of, of acceptance. And that just gives you an opportunity to, to be stronger and to endure through and to, to carry through whatever situation you're dealing with. Well, for me, I, I think it's a combination of, you know, I've been running for so long on the roads. So you get, you know, typically it, it's very monotonous. It can be quite monotonous. And, you know, I enjoy it, but then the trails offer a, 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 just a source of variety. You know, you, you get into a different environment. It's obviously nature. So you're in the mountains, you're in the canyons, you're in the forests. Um, the, tr the running is different too, right? Uh, on the road, it's, it's a flat, hard surface. Um, it's a little faster, but on the trails, it's, the, the footing is very different. Um, you've got to watch where you put your feet. You've got to, you've got to stay on the trails. It's, it's much steeper, typically. So you slow down and you move through the bushes. And, and, but uh, for the most part, it's the scenery. Getting into the mountains and getting into the bushes and into into the, the forests and the canyons is is, is very enjoyable, uh, and and I found that a, a uniquely um, satisfying part of, of running over the last two years. Well, of all time, uh, Comrades sticks out. You know, it's a it's, a, it's an iconic run. It's ex it's well known internationally. It's a 87k double uh, ultra. Um, so certainly Comrades is one of the highlights. Two Oceans is also an, an ultra run that I did in uh, Cape Town, South Africa twice. Beautiful scenery through the uh, peninsula of Cape Town, through the city of Cape Town. Beautiful place to run. Here in, uh, in the past couple of, of, I've ran two virtual New York marathons during COVID, which uh, obviously is not as much fun as the, the real in-person New York Marathon, but uh, that was fun to partic participate in. And then in the last couple of years, I've done some trail runs, and the one that really sticks out is the Wild Horse Traverse, which runs from Kelowna into Naramata, which was a lot of fun. It was it was challenging, but it was out in in the wild, in in the on the trails, through the forests and over the mountain tops, and, and just a lot of fun. So those are the ones that stick out immediately just enjoyed them all immensely. 
when I ran the Wild One run in, uh, up in Wilden. It was uh, a run that was specifically to promote um, awareness of mental health. Well, I find it interesting that, that people have started paying attention to their mental health. And so it was, it was just fun to put them all together, right? You, uh, it, the run was specifically to promote mental health and it was on the trails, it was in, in my home city. So it was just a combination of all of those together at the same time. Really enjoyed it and you were there taking photos. So all sorts of little components of the run that were just enjoyable, fun and, and um, all working together. So it was good, good fun. Since I've started running again in the last 10 years, the uh, mobile apps that run off your, your cell phones are so much more advanced. Um, GPS tracking, route tracking, um, you know, even heart rates uh, off your watch. So most runners are running with a watch um, that is tracking heart rate and it's tracking GPS and it's check, tra you can have your music with you if you like. I don't like running with music. Typically I run in silence. But um, those things in particular, the, the apps, I like tracking my runs, I like knowing the distances, I like recording them. I, I find it very useful to know where I ran, what, what I ran. I've been tracking my, my mileage on a daily basis now for almost 10 years. So I've got all those records in an app, which are very useful, and then my watch, um, the, the, you know, running with, obviously, keeping time, but more than that, your pace and your heart rate and, and just being in contact. Uh, I find um, I'm away from family and, and, and Jackie while I'm running, and, and just being able to stay in contact is peace of mind both for Jackie and for me, because if I'm gone for an hour or two, uh, just being able to know that if I had an issue I could call or if um, I'm gone for longer than expected Jackie can call me and find me actually if I'm out on the trails so that is very useful as in apps and accessories but of course running shoes are super important as well I have my favorite shoes I've been running in the same shoes for 10 years now um, I just uh, you know once you find a good shoe and, and you know runners are notoriously um, brand specific or brand loyal and once we find a shoe that we like we we, send, we tend to stick with them and I have for 10 years now so um, I have different shoes for trail and I have different shoes for, for, for on the road but uh, so typically the same type of shoe and uh, so as far as bra you know accessories it's mainly the, the electronic aids and then the, the running shoes and then everything else is just clothes that keep me comfortable and warm and protected from the elements while I'm out there. The best advice I can give is to start slow and be consistent. Running is all about doing it consistently because um, to start is uncomfortable. Your lungs aren't used to it, your legs aren't used to it, it hurts. Um, it, it's, not, it's not a lot of fun when your lungs are burning. but. Um, so then you've got to do it every day keep just start start easy start light um, but do it every day stay consistent you know when you start walk run walk run walk run you don't have to go out and run five kilometers on your first run just go get out keep moving forward run walk run walk but do it consistently day after day after day um, and you'll find your fitness builds and slowly but surely the, the, the things that are so uncomfortable, particularly the burning in your lungs and the sore legs, will get less and less and you'll start enjoying the run more and more and you'll just find you start running longer and walking less. So that's, that's my advice. As a, as a young man and as a teenager, certainly growing up in South Africa, there was a stigma to it. You had to suck it up and uh, not show your emotions. You had to deal with your stresses and uh, just manage them. People expected you to supposedly man up and uh, handle your stress without being uh, you know, too vocal about it and just deal with it, internalize it and manage your stress. Um, I think that's changed a lot. I'm seeing, especially in the last couple of years, people are very... Um, aware of mental health and are quite uh, compassionate and quite understanding as well. So I think it's changed, but absolutely growing up, uh, mental health was not something you spoke about and not something you asked for help with either. You know, I heard somebody say just the other day, um, mental health is not about being happy. And I agree with that. I don't think 
I, th- I don't think it's realistic to expect to be happy all the time, so to speak. And I don't think mental health is just a state of being happy. But I do think that mental health is being able to cope uh, and manage the things that are happening. Because bad things happen, stresses happen, conflicts happen. There are tough situations. That's just a part of life. And uh, if you're in a strong place of mental health, you're able to cope and deal with those without breaking down. And that's what it means to me. My name is Jackie Spaulding, and my relationship to Glenn is I am his wife. When Glenn got the information about his cholesterol and his blood pressure, um, and then the doctor wanted to put him on medication, which would have been lifelong medication, and I didn't want him to be on lifelong medication because we've had family members that have been on lifelong medication, and ultimately it affects the way you live and the things that can happen to you. So I did some research into a different kind of way of eating that would lower cholesterol and bring down blood pressure. And, things like that and um, I found a doctor in New York that has um, a specific way of eating and I bought some of his books and we started cooking that way and um, ultimately it's helped Glenn bring down his cholesterol completely to the point that when he went for his checkup shortly after changing um, his cholesterol was down already and so we've kind of just stuck with that way of eating. Okay so when Glenn started running again um, not only with the way of eating, combination of the way of eating and the exercise, um, the pounds started dropping off and I think a combination of losing the weight and just feeling better um, physically, it made him feel better mentally and emotionally and I think his coping mechanism was a lot stronger. If he's having a stressful time and he's trying to put his running off to spend time with me, I'll actually just say to him, rather just go and do your run and when you come back, then you know we can carry on with our day because I know that when he comes back, he's gonna be a lot calmer, he's gonna be able to cope with his day and the stresses that he's been dealing with before he went on his run. When Glenn started running, actually prior to Glenn starting running, he was always quite amped up and um, on edge. But once he started running, he definitely became a calmer person um, and was able to interact differently I think um, with me as well as with Kyle and Georgia um, his children and uh, he just um, I think it just improved the relationship generally Um, prior to his running as I say he was a little bit more tense he got irritated a lot easier and I think just sort of all the build-up of the stress that he was carrying and not having a release so that when he started running the running was his release and he was able to calm mentally and so it helps him sort of interact with everybody, family, I think even at work um, he's able to deal in a much calmer manner with everyone. I think if you're struggling ask for help. Don't, um, I think we all get to a point where we know we can't handle it anymore on our own. And if you're in that place, I think ask for help. Whether it's from a loved one or um, if there isn't a loved one that you can trust or then reach out to a a trusted friend or a doctor, but ask for help. There are many resources available for support and help, whether it's um, through organizations or charities or like I said, the uh, the medical community. Don't ignore it. Try and deal with it and ask for help. Sweet, thanks, Dad. Okay. My coping method is running. <laughs>